Just because you launch a program once, twice, or maybe even four times, doesn't mean you can just copy and paste that launch to your next one. Today I'm gonna to be walking you through what I'm doing right now to prepare for a launch I'm planning two months from now, and what I'm incorporating from previous launches, and what I'm doing in my new launch. Hi, I'm Trina, and on this channel, I help creative and online entrepreneurs like you get on YouTube to grow your business. Because as a busy mom and a business owner, I don't have time to be online 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So I count on my YouTube videos to do all the selling for me. Now this video is more of a sit down and chat type video that I do here on Fridays on my channel. I call these my Fry Diaries, so they're pretty informal, just to chat with you. So if you follow me, you know I've launched YouTube Bootcamp at least four times. I've really honestly lost count on the amount of times that I've launched YouTube Bootcamp. But here's the thing, with every single launch, you learn something and you change it moving forward. Plus, you also want to take it to that next level. I don't know if it's the constant barrage of messaging that you have to make six-figure launches and make all this money that you think, okay, you did it at this level. Well, now you have to do it at this level. You're never actually satisfied. So I'm not sure if that's a combination of that or just learning as I go. So like I said, my next launch is currently two months out. Um, it'll be at the end of July. So if you wanted to get on YouTube Bootcamp, start saving now. But what I'm doing right now is really warming my audience up. So if you noticed, I have posted a new often. It's the YouTube, launch your YouTube Bootcamp. No, launch your YouTube channel roadmap. It's this cute little gift that my graphic designer, Elia, created. And we've been using it as a Facebook ad to start warming up my audience and then start getting in front of my cold audience. This is giving me plenty of time to get traffic going to my website so that I can pixel these people so they have a broader audience to start pushing my webinar and my challenge to. So that was an extra step that I made this time around because I never created a new opt-in just for a launch. I've had my YouTube channel checklist opt-in for a while, but now we're doing this strategy where there's going to be a new opt-in, which is that roadmap, and then the next thing that we are gonna publish and really push is a blog post that you'll see at the end of this month. Again, we're really hoping to use this as a way to boost traffic to my website, start pixeling those people so that we can retarget them to make our ad cost lower. So what I did today actually was film some ad videos. Hey, yeah, you, hey, you, yeah, hey, yeah. Hi, I obviously people connect a lot better with a human face and if you can be on camera, it's obviously a good option. So I created some video ads today to start getting in front of a cold audience to let them get to know me and see my personality if they haven't been following me on YouTube. I'm also taking a look at my prior launch. I actually, let me find my notebook, wrote down all the things that I need to do. So for me, launching can get super overwhelming and super stressful. And so I just have to brain dump. So I have this notebook and over the weekend, I just wrote down all the things that I need to do for each step of my launch. So I'm gonna be doing a five day challenge in July to lead into a webinar that then leads into my launch. And so for me to be able to write down everything that I need to do, just so that I can get it out of my head and stop stressing myself out, this helps. Now I'm gonna put this in Trello as well and keep track of it. I should have did this before, um, like I said, I'm not the best at keeping track of things. I'm human, I've got kids. It just sometimes doesn't happen. So with this, uh, like I said, I am working on updates to my program so that the people in there are getting some awesome new stuff. I'm also working on a brand new webinar training that I'm super excited to launch because this is gonna be unlike any other training that I've taught before. So um, basically redoing my webinar. The challenge, the Find Your Camera Confidence Challenge is, oh my goodness, I can't wait for that because it's going to be giveaways every single day. Uh, and so I've been working on that as well as I gear up for my launch. And then finally, I've been working on um, creating some affiliate links for some special people so that if they get their friends and their uh, followers to buy, they can actually make some money. And so this is all happening more than eight weeks in advance. Now I am going on vacation in June, so um, I'm trying to get ahead of schedule so that I can take that week, at, that week off with my family and friends to enjoy. So that meant creating a lot of videos in, in advance. So I, create, I filmed 
14 videos last week. I'm going to film again before we leave for the beach. I'm also getting all my B-roll sent to my editor. I'm getting all my blog posts done, Instagram um, plan just so that I can get ahead of the game, right? And that's also getting me ahead in my launch. So the posts for my launch, the video strategy for my launch, so starting in uh, at the end of June is when my video strategy on YouTube will kick into play. I'm gonna be building up this launch to like my signature uh, video to pitch YouTube Bootcamp. So that's kind of all what's going on behind the scenes. And yes, it's going on behind the scenes two months in advance, even though I've done this. What I've learned about launching is no two launches are ever the same. And if you use something from last launch that worked well, it doesn't always work this well. Uh, last launch, we were doing great with ads. This time, our ads have been tanking. We've been trying to figure out what's going wrong. That's why we've been filming additional video ads, just to see if we can find out what's resonating with people. And so if you do ever plan a launch, or you've gone through a launch before, and you, maybe you've had a successful one, Trust me, it's not always gonna be successful. And if you had a crappy one, trust me, it doesn't always have to be crappy. You just gotta keep doing it and improving on it, keeping track of what you learned, and just picking yourself back up again because it's no easy job. I would love to know if any of you are launching anything in the future or thinking about it, let me know in the comments. And if you wanna learn how I launched my last course and everything that I learned, make sure you check out the playlist that is on your screen right now. Don't forget, you can subscribe to this channel. I'm uploading videos almost every single day of the week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.